You know, it's a funny thing about these two fields. Today they look just about the same. But come harvest, one of these fields is going to have a chance at a much larger profit. Why? Not because of the seed, nor the fertilizer. The difference will come from the combine. Hi, my name is Jerry Salzman. In a few short months, a Case International Axial Flow Combine will come right through this very spot, while a different combine will be used over here. Now, while both combines will do an excellent job of harvesting, only the Case International Axial Flow will have the capability of pulling more high-quality grain from every acre. The difference is in the gentle, repetitive threshing action of the axial flow rotor, a difference that we'll explain in more detail later. But while we're quite proud of today's axial flow combine, what really drives Case IH is the input that we get from our customers. We really do hear you. In the next few minutes, we'll go across North America to visit customers who put axial flow combines to work every harvest. You'll hear about the proven reliability and durability of our older models, as well as the increased performance of our exciting new axial flow combines. We'll also visit the high-tech plant where these machines earn their stamp of quality. And we'll even go inside an axial flow to see what sets it apart. But first, let's go on the road to Homer, Illinois, and visit the farming operation of Kent Kirkowit. <music> My name is Kent Krukowit. My wife and I and two children farm between Homer and Sydney, Champaign County, Illinois. We farm 1,400 acres of corn and soybeans. Uh, the corn is all food grade corn that I deliver to a, a corn chip producer. Harvesting food grade corn, it's a little different than commercial corn in that we have to be very careful to keep the whole kernel intact the best we can. The conventional combine has to attack that corn and do it in a very small area and shell it off the cob. Well, the axle flow has a much longer area in which to remove the corn from the cob and does it in a much gentler way so that in fact you get a much higher quality of corn coming out of the machine than in a conventional machine. And uh, that's basically why I bought an axle flow combine. However, it was also an economic decision when I made that, that I looked at the quality that I was doing at that time uh, compared to what the quality could be with the actual flow combine. And uh, it appeared to me that I could be increasing uh, my selling price uh, anywhere from uh, 10 cents to maybe as, as much as 30 cents a bushel over what I was uh, had before. And uh, on 100,000 bushels of corn delivered, that's, that's a pretty significant amount of money. Uh, in weighing all those factors, uh, I decided that, uh, that the purchase of this machine was, uh, was going to improve my bottom line. As Kent Kirkwick indicated, you just can't beat the proven performance of the axial flow rotor for harvesting higher quality grain. But how does this unique patented design actually work? Let's take a look. Unlike a conventional combine, the axial flow gives the crop more than one chance to be threshed. An impeller on the front of the rotor draws in both crop and air, sending it spiraling gently and repeatedly around the rotor. This centrifugal action is far more effective than gravity alone, allowing the heavy grain to work its way through the lighter residual material. This action extracts more grain while providing a significant boost in quality. And because the rotor is the only moving part in the threshing and separating stages, compared to 16 in a conventional cylinder and concave system, the dependability and reliability are outstanding. After the grain leaves the rotor chamber, it enters the cleaning and conveying section. This step, like every step in an axial flow combine, is built to work in perfect synchronization with the one before, a principle known as capacity matching. The result, no weak links or bottlenecks. As you can see, there's some exciting engineering underneath the skin of the axial flow combine. And that innovation holds true for the rest of the machine as well. To see the difference that axial flow productivity can make in a huge small grain operation, let's go north to the endless fields of Alberta, Canada and meet James and George Hofer. We are here at New York Colony. James Hofer, 
brother George over. We were on a Lemus House Maker Farm. We were located in southern Alberta. If you know where Canada is. Well, we seeded uh, 2,200 acres in canola. Mm, a little over 2,000 acres in barley. Wheat, I think there's 1,600 acres in, into wheat, spring wheat. 400 acres into uh, fall wheat. And the rest to be summer fall. You take this combine, you go out in the morning. You don't stop till about midnight. You put a lot of bushes to it. A lot of bushes. And that's what you want. We're out here to make a living. And this combine is, is doing a job for us. Well, we haven't had any downtime yet for the last two years. All you have to do is you gotta feed them fuel. That's about all. So now what we need is about uh, three, four weeks of sunshine. Then we can put our babies to work. Sorry, but it's the kids' uh, dinner bell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, convention, the, the rotary shines over the convention combines is they don't break up the canola stalks, doesn't pulverize it, and it's easier to separate. You get as low as 2% doggage. With the convention machine, you can get up as, as high as 17, 18% doggage. Love farming. It's a challenge from year to year. Keeps you out of mischief. Clearly the Hofers expect a lot from their axial flow combines, and that's just fine with us. We build them for even the toughest demands. In fact, let's go to the East Moline, Illinois axial flow combine plant and see just how our commitment to quality becomes a reality on your farm. When an axial flow combine leaves this plant, the reputation of every employee goes with it. Quality is a matter of communications. We should listen to our customers. Everybody takes pride in knowing that they're doing something for somebody else. To have a superior machine, you got to have top-notch quality in it. I am proud of building this machine. Quality is the number one thing we look for out of this company. And I'll go a hundred times more to satisfy the customer. I'd like to see it perform. It's a good machine. It makes me feel good to, to know that I had something to do with putting that machine together. From the precision balancing of the rotor, to the high-tech assembly line, to the state-of-the-art electrostatic painting process, the East Moline facility is built around one of the most stringent quality control programs in manufacturing. No combine leaves this plant until it passes a vigorous and thorough final inspection. Only then does an axial flow combine earn its blue tag, a personal assurance of quality. Next stop, your farm. Obviously, the folks that build the axial flow combine truly recognize the importance of quality. But they're not the only ones. Recently, readers from Farm Industry News honored the axial flow combine as one of agriculture's top innovations in the last 25 years. And Fortune magazine named the axial flow as one of America's top 100 products. But what really matters is how quality pays off for you. Let's meet a man whose workload demands the best, a farmer from the heart of rice country, Mr. Charles Clowney of DeWitt, Arkansas. My name is Charles Clowney. I'm from DeWitt, Arkansas. This land has been in my family three or four generations. After wheat harvest and I went and bought this combine, I liked it so much, I bought another one. I bought the second one within a week, and it's and all I've had is good luck with the combine, speed of harvest, no downtime, very little maintenance, good service, and excellent trade-ins. We did not get new headers, just the combine, and the older headers are holding up just you know, just like so. I know the headers last. We have 600 to 650 acres of rice, 800 acres of wheat, and a thousand or so acres of beans. That tells you how fast we cut. There's not much, couldn't be much downtime. Rice is the most difficult crop to harvest. The uh, combine cuts so well, it has so fewer parts, it, it's lighter to cut under adverse conditions. I think it would definitely be worth trying it. I don't, you know, like the What's the commercial? Try it last. You know, that's the car commercial, the one that says try it last. I think you should try it last, and I think you'll be sold on it. If you don't get any trash in the sample, broken, broken grains in the sample, uh, milled, literally milled rice in the sample where it knocks the whole hull off. 
So, you know, I would recommend it strongly. That axial flow seems to uh, thrash so gently, as I've said before. So I, I can't say anything but uh, complimentary uh, statements about this rig. Charles Clowney is quite a believer in axial flow performance and reliability. High praise when you consider that his fast-moving rice harvest puts more stress on a combine in a week than most customers experience in an entire season. Likewise, corn and soybean farmers of the Midwest ask a lot of their equipment. To see how the axial flow stacks up to their specifications, let's visit with Tom Schneider of Waterloo, Iowa. My name is Tom Schneider uh, from Waterloo, Iowa. Uh, we've got about uh, 1,135 acres of uh, corn and about 1,035 acres of beans. A number of years we've raised seed beans, and I know when we take them into the to the seed processing plant, they can almost tell uh, who's got a conventional uh, combine and who's got a who's got an actual flow. The seed quality is a lot better. The seed coat is not scuffed up. Uh, and, and that uh, adds premium on to you know, each bushel we take in. When we have a new operator uh, with that high moisture corn, he can set the combine a lot easier than we could with, our, with an old uh, conventional combine that we had before. We've run a couple of competition uh, the last couple of years. Uh, we just think all in all that, that the Oxford Flow is, is, is the top notch uh, combine to buy. The quiet of the cab is is a lot better. Uh, the the T handle control is much better. Uh, we have some retired farmers that uh, run combine run the combine for us. We have one 75 year old individual. In fact, he gets in the combine at seven in the morning and he doesn't get out till five thirty in the afternoon. You know, just about as fresh as he did as, as he got in at seven in the morning. I guess we're excited about getting in the field with this fall uh, with a new cleaning capacity with the longer longer sieves the more fan capacity to it, uh, I think it's going to be a real plus. I'm glad we went with it. It's been good for us. I say, especially beans. That's where we, that's where we didn't like the other one because the beans got tough at night. You know, you had to slow down and hammer them through, and but with this one here, it just flows right through. So, it, yeah. as Tom Schneider mentioned, there are a lot of exciting changes in the new axial flow combines. One key difference is the new patented cross flow cleaning fan. Let's take a closer look at this revolutionary advancement. The cross-flow cleaning fan, standard on all new 1644, 1666, and 1688 axial flow combines, ranks as one of the most significant advancements ever made in the cleaning system of a combine. The cross-flow cleaning fan utilizes a patented chevron pattern design that delivers an extremely uniform airflow across the entire sieve area, front to back and side to side, as opposed to the high and low air velocities of other designs. Key to this performance is the fan's ability to create a vortex in its center, drawing in and sending out large volumes of air. This innovation not only provides far better grain cleaning, but is also much quieter and requires less horsepower. With the CrossFlow, the total cleaning system adapts to changes in crops and conditions, with less need for adjustments. Now that you've had a taste of the ongoing changes, innovations, and improvements that go into axial flow combines, Let's go to a place where it all pays off, out west, where professional harvesters travel from state to state, working on contract day and night to bring in the wheat and barley harvest. Let's talk to one such custom cutter, Rick Ferris of Kansas. My name's Rick Ferris and I'm a custom harvester. My home's at Edson, Kansas, a little town just east of Goodland, Kansas. My father was in the harvesting business when I was born, and so it's been an old family business. First combine Dad uh, turned me loose on was a 27 International, and uh, I had to let go of the steering wheel and plant both feet over to change the variable speed. We've ran the case machine since 1988. We've bought at least four every year, so I guess we've had 36 of them. The major difference between our 1680s and our 1688s is added engine horsepower. Uh, it lets you be a lot more productive in the tough conditions. But uh, the really big difference I feel is the new fanning mill. This fanning mill is open all the way across the top and it pulls air in evenly all the way across there. And it's uh, really, I think, a major improvement as far as your sample quality 
and uh, how good you can keep your grain in the machine when you get into some of these lighter test weight conditions. We'll put 10, 15 hour days on if we can go. It just, how, whenever we can start and why we go to the elevators quit taking, they usually quit about 11. Our customers get paid bonuses for meeting all these quality factors, so it helps them if they can get the highest bonus. Uh, of course, your main job out here where, where it's not your crop, it's someone else's, you've got to be getting all you can all the time. So you've got to do the best job you can all the time. Rick Ferris is a real believer in the axial flow. But then, when your entire season's efforts are on the line, you better believe in your combine. Clearly, the folks that you've just heard from believe in their combines. They've experienced the ability of the axial flow to harvest more of what they grow. And they've profited from the high grain quality. And the new axial flow combines take that strong reputation a step further with more power and better cleaning than ever before. Teamed with the service of your local Case IH dealer and our vast high-speed parts network, the Axial Flow Combine is proof that at Case IH, we do hear you. If you'd like to sample for yourself the performance of the Axial Flow, we hope you give your local dealer a call. He'll be happy to tell you more. Until then, I'm Jerry Salzman, and from all of us at Case IH, thanks for your time.